Hello friends, this is Dr. P. Sivanagaraju from IRE. In this session, we are going to discuss noise triangle, free emphasis and the emphasis. So how noise is affected in FM, we are going to discuss in this uh, session. Okay, let us start the session. So first one is the noise triangle and uh, how the noise is going to add the signal. Discuss. So, when thermal noise with a constant spectral density is added to an FM signal, it produces an unwanted deviation of the carrier frequency. The magnitude of this unwanted frequency deviation depends on the relative amplitude of the noise with respect to the carrier. So, in previous sessions, we discussed the noise quantum. Eliminate completely, but we are going to suppress and filter some of the noise which follows through the signal and reaches at the end also. But when this unwanted carrier deviation is demodulated, it becomes noise. If it has frequency components that fall within the information frequency spectrum, the noise voltage at the output of a PM demodulator is constant with frequency, whereas the noise voltage at the output of the FM demodulator increases linearly with frequency. This is commonly called as FM noise triangle. So, this is FM noise triangle. That means here the noise voltage is constant at the output with frequency increase but in fm whenever the frequency increases the noise voltage also increases at the output so here we show in this figure so here you can see this is a flag that is a constant, throughout the constant you have it. Frequency is increasing, but we are having the constant voltage. But the noise, it increases linearly. The voltage increases linearly with the frequency. So this we can call as noise triangle in FM. Noise triangle in FM. So that's to we will discuss the free emphasis and the emphasis. So the effect of noise increases with increase in frequency. The signal noise issue becomes poor at high frequencies. The quality of FM reception degrades. The high frequency components of the message are badly affected by the noise. This problem can be solved by using uh, circuits called preamphysis and deamphysis. Why? Because the noise is uh, very dominant in high frequency. So, when the frequency increases, the noise effect is going to increase. So, signal to noise ratio becomes wall at high frequencies. That means signal is going to decreasing, noise is going to increasing. So SNR is going to fall. So we are going to compensate this uh, problem by using two circuits that are called as freemphasis and deamphysis. So this is our freemphasis circuit. There's nothing but uh, the circuit. So here we given the modulating signal. Before uh, demodulator, we use the source circuit and get the free emphasis. So 
what is a wave size we are discussing in this slide the noise has a greater effect on the higher modulating frequencies this effect can be reduced by increasing the value of modulation index for higher modulating frequencies so here you know that uh, uh, formula for modulation index m which is equal to delta f divided by fm so here we are going to increase the modulation in index so how to increase this modulation index by increasing the delta f by increasing delta f you can increase the modulation index so this can be done by increasing the deviation frequency deviation delta f and delta f can be increased by increasing the amplitude modulating signal at high frequency so you know that delta f which is equal to kf into am so you know that uh, frequency deviation which is equal to kf frequency sensitivity of the modulator am is the amplitude of the modulating signal so when you increase am that is a modulating amplitude modulating signal amplitude so delta f is going to increase if delta f is going to increase we can increase em that is modulation index okay so the artificial boosting of higher modulating frequencies is known as a preemphasis so we are going to increase that amplitude we are going to increase the amplitude so can call as that uh, artificial boosting at higher frequencies known as fray emphasis so if you boost the amplitude of higher frequency modulo signals artificially then it is possible to improve the noise immunity at higher modulo frequencies why at higher frequencies the noise effect is uh, more so our aim is to reduce this uh, effect of noise at higher modulo frequencies so that's why we using this fraf circuit we are going to artificially boosting the amplitude okay so if we increase the amplitude we get increase the frequency deviation if frequency deviation is increased then we get the modulation index is more so they are interrelated to each other so by using that technique we are going to amplitude boost we are going to boosting the amplitude of that modulated signal okay why these uh, uh, modulated frequencies uh, more than 2 kHz to 15 kHz this uh, effect of noise is uh, increasing so we are going to suppress that uh, effect of noise just by boosting the amplitude of that uh, modulating frequencies so as fm increases the reactance of say decreasing and the modulating voltage applied to the fm modulator goes on decreasing so by using that circuit we are going to free emphasis the free emphasis is done in transmitter side and de emphasis which is uh, uh, done the reverse process at the receiver so the artificial boosting given to the higher modulating signals in the free emphasis is nullified or compensated at the receiver by a process known as a deemphasis so the reverse operation is done at the receiver why at a transmitter we given that artificial boosting uh, to higher modulating signals that means increasing uh, amplitude artificially so that is uh, done in a transmitter side so again which is going to compensated at the receiver uh that process is known as deemphasis so the artificially boosted high frequency signals are brought to the original amplitude using the deemphasis circuit so this preemphasis and deemphasis circuits are very useful in fm in frequency modulation so this is a uh, block diagram of this deemphasis circuit so we are having fm demodulator again 
local circuit, which is usually as a DF6. And finally, that or you signal. Okay, so this is a preemphasis and diaphysis. So the demoned FM is applied to the DF circuit. With increase in FM, the reactant C goes on decreasing and the output AM circuit will also reduce. Okay, thank you. So this is all the emphasis on circuit. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.